In this episode, we are going to take a look at the dollar index chart. It looks like that the dollar index is forming a bullish padding in the short term. This descending wedge, 60% of the time, we usually break to the upside. But in the long term, we just formed this huge double top padding. And in the coming few months, it looks like that the dollar index is going to come crashing down to the 2014 levels while all this dollar printing is happening. The dollar is going to devaluate very, very much in the coming few years. The German bank Hocken Aufhauser established the first crypto fund. We'll be taking a look at this news today. And also, in one of the most bullish news of the week, MicroStrategy buys more Bitcoin, now holding BTC worth over $780 million in treasury. We'll be taking a look at this news today. So if you like the content, smash the like button and let's crack on with the video. Hello there, Andy here. Welcome back to another episode of Bitcoin Sensors, where you subscribe for the quickest technical analysis and news on Bitcoin, cryptocurrency and the financial markets. I am not financial advisor, so don't buy or sell anything that I say. And if you do so, do your own research. Said this, let's go straight into the charts. As you can see here on the dollar index chart, we are forming this descending wedge, which is a very bullish pattern. On the left side, we can see from 2017, Entering 2018, we broke out from this descending wedge and we managed to get to these high levels. We did not break out of it, so we formed a double top pattern. This is a very bearish pattern. And now entering this descending wedge, what I'm expecting in the immediate short term is to break here to the upside in the next few weeks, but then start coming to crash down to the 2014 levels in the coming years. Did you know that the US Federal Reserve printed 20% of all of the existing dollars? So this is what I'm expecting. There is no way that the dollar is going to go up in value. It is going to devaluate. So this is what I'm expecting in the coming years. In today's news, the German bank Hauk and Avhauser established the first crypto fund. From the new year, German investors will be able to invest in a new crypto fund founded by Hulk and Aufhauser Innovated Capital GmbH and the Berlin Fintech Capilendo. The new crypto fund will be aimed at semi-institutional and institutional investors who are interested in investing in leading cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, Ether and Stellar Lumens. The new German crypto fund has set the minimum investment at 200,000 euros. The subscription period will not be limited. This is for wealthy people and institutions. Me and you that are retail investors, we don't need to go into a crypto fund. We buy ourselves the crypto from the exchange and we store it to the wallet. If you are new to crypto, I'll be linking you to the Bitcoin Census website because we've got great tutorials on how to buy and store crypto. Checking out the extreme bullish news of the week, MicroStrategy buys more Bitcoin, now holding BTC worth over $780 million in treasury. Nasdaq listed billion dollar company MicroStrategy has made its third large Bitcoin purchase. The company now holds about 40,824 Bitcoin worth over $780 million at the current price. CEO Michael Saylor tweeted on Friday, MicroStrategy has purchased approximately 2,574 Bitcoin for $50 million in cash in accordance with its treasury reserve policy policy at an average price of approximately $19,427 per Bitcoin. We now hold approximately 40,824 Bitcoin. This is a huge amount of Bitcoin purchased in less than a week. This is extremely bullish for the Bitcoin price. In the long term, a lot of people are saying that the Bitcoin price is overhyped, it's overpriced. Well, guys, no, people and institutions are accumulating. The ones that are here for the long term, they are still buying at current price levels because they know where the Bitcoin price is going to go. MicroStrategy also informed the US Securities and Exchange Commission on Friday of its new Bitcoin purchase. According to its filling with the regulator, the company declared that it holds approximately 40,824 Bitcoin that were acquired at an aggregate purchase price of $475 million inclusive of fees and expenses. 
Bitcoin is currently trading at about $19,153, meaning the BTC held in MicroStrategy's treasury is worth over $780 million. So if MicroStrategy in the last few months has purchased about $475 million worth of Bitcoin and now is current Bitcoin are worth $780 million, this means he has made a profit of $300 million and he is still buying Bitcoin. He is not cashing out his profits. So if this doesn't make you bullish, I don't know what does. Guys, feel free to check out the Bitcoin Census website. We've got great tutorials on how to buy, how to store and even how to trade Bitcoin. We've got great bonuses here on different exchanges. So I'll be leaving a link in the description so you can check it out. If you've liked the content, smash the like button and I will see you guys in the next one.